I'm Rosie and I made this chicken and I'm going to show you how I did it today. Um, so actually I made two chickens. Um, there is this one and this one, they're very handsome and I'm going to make a third one. So as I'm doing it, I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, if you want to make a chicken as well, you have got to have uh, sheets of felt. We got these ones from Hobbycraft, they're about 50p each, so you need three of them so you can have three different colours, or if you would like a hundred different colours, you have to have a hundred of them, that's kind of up to you. Um, you've got to have embroidery thread, and you've got to have an embroidery needle, um, but ideally not the, the one that's curved at the top. Um, if you have a spiky one, it's much easier to sort of stab through three or four layers of felt at the same time, so sort of spiky embroidery needle. Um, you've got to have some decorations, for example, lovely sequins or um, buttons or other bits and bobs. And if you, like me, would like to make this chicken into a Christmas decoration, then also you need a bit of ribbon, which you can use to hang him off the tree. Oh, I forgot, you also need a pipe cleaner. Any old pipe cleaner will do. You need one for his leg. Right. So, step one, you've got to get the pattern. I've put it in the link below. Um, it's just one sheet. Uh, you can print that out and cut it up. And then you put all the bits onto some felt and you cut around them. You are supposed to cut two of every single piece apart from the wattle at the top and his beak and his downward leg. That's a special um, one which just kind of dangles out the side and it stands up, it's fine. Uh, and for the bottom leg, uh, that's a bit awkward. I've got written on the pattern mirror me because um, it's basically impossible for you to cut out a symmetrical piece of felt and it needs to be quite accurate. So what I've done is when I'm cutting, I just fold the whole sheet of felt in half and then I keep that attached and I just cut the ziggy zaggy around the end and that's how you make his leg. Okay. Uh, so the steps for sewing my chicken together are quite straightforward. Um, you just embroider the parts and then sew them together with the other parts and then sew them all together. Uh, in both of these chickens uh, I've done the same stitch. I've just done uh, a back stitch. Um, just holding the two edges together and doing a back stitch along here, which means along the top you have got a bit of a, a seam which sticks out and, and one side of the back stitch looks a lot scruffier than the other. But I have tried with blanket stitch on some other felt things and I think it looks even worse, to be honest. This is the tidiest you can possibly get uh, the seam on your felt embroidery, as far as I know. Um, the only bit that's a bit difficult, uh, that's his wing, because as you can see on his wing, he's got some lovely fluffy feathers and that's quite hard. You've got to trap it inside the wing. So I'll show you how to do it. Um, first, you make the feathers just by themselves. So uh, this triangle is a right angled, angled triangle. So you put the right angle at the bottom and you take the non right angle bit and you fold it down. That's the shape of the feather. Um, and then you take another color and you do the same thing. Um, slightly overlapping right angle at the bottom and then fold it down there we go that's feather number two uh, you can just pin it together or glue it together if you're cheating but I think pinning is the authentic way um, and then you do that a couple more times and then you've got wing front one and two and you've got wing back. Uh, now the wing back has got a, a pointy end. The pointy end goes at the top and the, the inside part goes down here. Um, if you sew around the curve at the top first to attach them, because this is the bit that you really want to line up more or less, um, and then you can open it up and then put your beautiful feathers inside there. And the first thing, you do an extremely untidy stitch that stitches all the feathers down onto the back right there. So you'll have a horrible mess on the back of the wing, but that's fine because you won't be able to see it because it will be on the inside of the body. Um, and then once you've stitched all the feathers in, 
and take another thread and you just do a nice stitch around here to sew the top on um, and then you stuff it full of fluff and then you close the little edge bit here in some more red thread um, and then you have a wing which looks very nice um, so this bird is actually stolen I did steal it from the internet there is um, a Russian art website uh, where there was supposed to be a free pattern to make a beautiful chicken and I clicked the website and there was no pattern there was only instructions which was very sad um, and there was nowhere even to buy the pattern and so I thought I really really wanted the chicken and so I made him um, and um, yes there's been a few changes um, for example um, I made a different tail and the wings are a different shape and the feathers are different so it's not 100% stolen but I will put a link to the original pattern which I stole in the description because yeah, it's not very fair is it um, and that is how to make a chicken and I hope you make a chicken and if you make a chicken please leave me a comment because I would like to see that someone has made my chicken that's all from me bye